First, let us consider how should we breathe when we are healthy, so that we have good breath holding time. What is a breathing pattern according to medical and physiological textbooks? So if I put on the diagram the amount of air in our lungs, we would get the following pattern. We take inhale, it takes about two seconds for inhale, we take about half of a liter of air, very small amount, and then we relax, we exhale. The exhalation is longer, about three, four seconds. And here we have period of no breathing, so-called automatic pause, when we do nothing, we just relax. And we take another inhale, and we exhale, relaxation. The cycles repeat itself. Inhale, exhalation. This is our breathing at rest, and for example during sleep, when we are not involved in any activity. If we try to measure how many liters of air we breathe, it's only about 4-6 liters for one minute. It's a very small amount, as we can imagine. Breath holding time is 40-60 seconds. Breathing is easy and relaxed. The breathing rate would be probably about 10-12 times per minute. And if you have very healthy friends and relatives, you can observe this breathing. It's invisible and inaudible. So that if you try to see, if you try to listen, there is nothing. Maybe there are very, very small movements in the belly part are observable. This is what Lao Tse, Chinese philosopher, told about breathing of healthy people. The perfect man breathes as if he is not breathing. Lao Tse, Chinese philosopher. What about breathing of sick people? This table is from my book, Normal Breathing, the Key to Vital Health. It has a result of Western studies about breathing of sick people, how heavy it is, minute ventilation, how many liters per minute they need. So we can see here that, for example, patients with chronic heart failure, heart disease, they breathe about 10, 15, 20 liters per minute. Another study, average minute ventilation, 16 liters per minute. Another one, 14. Diabetes, 10 to 20. Asthma, 15, 14, 12. There are many other conditions when breathing is about 2, 3, 4 times heavy. So if we try to put this pattern here on this diagram, how it would look like? Sick people take inhale, which is bigger and deeper, and then we exhale quite quickly. Then we take another inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. So what we can see, there are two big differences. First of all, the breathing is bigger. We take more air, almost one liter for one breath. And what we do next, we forcefully exhale air out. We don't have period of relaxation. We don't have automatic pause. Now, if we try to write the rate, it would be about 15 liters per minute. And breath holding time, index of oxygenation, for example, for patients with mild heart disease or mild asthma, is about 15 seconds. Now we can also think about breathing of severely sick people. People who are in critical care, in emergency, those who have, for example, heart attacks, asthma attacks. What about their breathing? The breathing pattern is even heavier. We breathe even faster and even deeper. Sick people breathe about maybe 15-20 times per minute. Severely sick people can breathe even heavier. And it can be more than 25 liters per minute. While breath holding time is only 5 seconds. If you have friends and relatives with various conditions, you can see it. You can see that their breathing is heavy. Healthy people, as I mentioned, have very light, easy breathing pattern. It's invisible and inaudible. Sick people, what we can often see, that the chest is moving. If the chest is moving, breath holding time would be less than 20 seconds. Sometimes we see that people, they have such a breathing pattern, so their shoulders are moving, and breath holding time would be probably less than 10 seconds. And very rarely we could see a person whose head is moving, and breath holding time would be 5 seconds or less. These people are usually in a very bad health state. Now we can look and think about breathing of people who are very healthy. Let's think about Hatha Yoga masters. 
Hatha Yoga is one of the schools and the main parameter of these masters was to have very high breath holding time. Hatha means master of breath. And breath holding time of Hatha Yoga master is supposed to be 3, 5 or more minutes. So what about way breathing? If I try to put the diagram here, it would be the following. We take small inhale and then we have long relaxed exhale. Then we take next, next inhale and there is again long relaxed exhale. We breathe only about 2 liters per minute. But breath holding time is 3 minutes. So it looks unusual how it is possible that those people who breathe very little have a lot of oxygen in the body. Those people who breathe very heavy have only 5 seconds of oxygen. We are going to investigate this paradox later. Now let us think about also some other patterns which are not normal. Here I just put some regular patterns, periodic ones. Sometimes people cough, sneeze, yawn, sigh and all these activities make breathing irregular. Sometimes we are laughing. And when people have self-talk, when they talk with themselves in a state of anxiety, the breathing pattern can be also very irregular. But as soon as breathing is heavy in terms of minute ventilation, how many liters per minute we breathe, the breath holding time is going to be short. Do people notice that the breathing is heavy? In fact, if a person breathes about 15 liters per minute, he would not or she would not tell that her or his breathing is heavy. Why? Because air is weightless and our breathing muscles, chest and diaphragm, they are very strong. During maximum exercise, we can breathe up to 150 liters per minute. Hence, sick people breathe only about 10% of their maximum capacity. That means that quite easy, just 10% of maximum capacity. So normally they would not notice. People usually tell that their breathing is heavy when it's 25 liters per minute or even more. But in health, we should breathe only about 3%, 4% of our maximum capacity. And in fact, as we can see here, Hatha Yoga people breathe almost nothing, just 1%, slightly more than 1% of maximum capacity which is possible during physical exercise. We can also think about efficiency of our breathing. How efficient we are in terms of extracting oxygen. Do we take all oxygen in? In fact, Healthy people with medical physiological norms are able to extract only about quarter of oxygen, three quarters we exhale back. Sick people we use only about 10% of oxygen, 90% is exhaled back. So we can also think that heavy breathing is very inefficient in mechanical terms. But there is another even more important factor why sick people with heavy breathing have low oxygenation. And in order to find this factor we have to consider physiology of oxygen transport.